Cap Hamlin with the Durham Fire Department. We're going to show you now utilizing the Rescue 3 picket plate. Um, Rescue Source is the one who actually sells them. We've got two of these. Once you see them, uh, I think everybody's going to really like them. Um, but just know we've only got two picket plates. So if you need multiple anchor points and once you utilize these, you're going to have to go back to the, either the webbing method or to the traditional uh, half inch rope method. Now with this picket plate, you'll see there are five holes right here. This is actually where our pickets are gonna be driven through. Just three of them, the first one, the middle one, and the last one. Um, if you notice, they're just a little bit, ob, have an oblong length to them compared to the one in the front. We don't wanna drive a picket in this one. How do you know it's the front? If you look at the side, you can see the front's kinda of kicked up. Uh, Rescue 3's built this in, so once you put this in the ground, it gives you a little bit of area to, as an attachment point. Now, our fall line, our direction of pull is going to be that way. That's where we want our attachment point pointing. So we're going to put it on the ground. We're going to get us a picket. Again, two-thirds the length in at a 15 degrees. So we're going to set these in. Again, a good way to find our 15 degrees is the back of your foot to right over the front of your toe. Garland's going to drive them. Now remember, with our post driver, we won't be able to fully drive our picket in. So it's a good thing to start with, but we can finish up with our sledge. All right, again, we're gonna set up a one to one to one. So we're gonna put three pickets in. Again, 15 degrees at this point. We want to drive the pickets down so no yellow showing. We'll put our last picket in. Now, with our picket plate, we don't have to do any tie backs. We don't need webbing and we don't need rope between the three like we do on one to one to one utilizing webbing. What this picket system does, they've come up with a great engineering. Here's your attachment point. As you pull, all three pickets actually set in unison. So with our typical one to one to one with webbing or with rope, the first picket's gonna set, second picket is set, then our last picket is set. This one, as you put tension on it, all three pickets are going to set in unison. So once you put this on, there's no way that this is going to slide up to the top of the pickets. All right, so we're going to do a pull test again with our Rock Exotica, Exotica load cell. The max we're going to put it under is 10 kilonewtons. Um, that's what it's rated at, so we don't want to exceed that. This system, again, has been tested up to 6,000 pounds. Uh, we don't have a way to test it for us that goes that high, but we'll show you just at 10 kilonewtons how much it actually will set into itself. All right, so we're gonna show it under, under tension now. Y'all go ahead and haul. If you notice this, if you can see the three pickets starting to set themselves. Stop right there. If you look on the left side, that's your kilonewton force. Down at the bottom is across four seconds. So we got up to nine kilonewtons of pull on the load cell, just on that last picket system.